I knew you'd come around eventually. I mean, Sam's most redeeming quality is that he can bore you to sleep and then you can use his lips as ginormous pillows. I'm not breaking up with Sam. I really like him. And he makes me feel really smart and think about things like where air comes from and how come in every movie about Jesus he dies at the end. Well, look, I'm not expecting you to start dating me again and I'm taken. I just want you to aim higher. I know that you're not dating Elaine. She told me that you paid her with Scratchers tickets and an Ani DeFranco t-shirt to pretend to be your girlfriend. And I also know that you dropped out of school. Well, I'm moving on up. Sue offered me a job to train to take over the Cheerios after she dies. You can't do that. Why? I mean, it's not like I'd have to wait that long. I'm totally going to rice and her protein shakes in a couple years. I think you need to be somewhere that's as big and as hot as you are. It's okay to follow your dreams. No, Brittany, you, you have no idea what it's like out there in the real world. No one gives a damn about you. Rachel found a new guy, and I hear Kirk did too. Why shouldn't you get the chance to be around people who are like you, who appreciate you? Be a part of a community. Why can't you have a real girlfriend, but not a best friend? Because I've parts already taken. You really are a genius, Brittany. Duh. And you're my best friend. Sam and I are going to Bread Six tonight to pretend to be British. Do you want to come? No, thanks. I think I'm going to hang around here a minute more. She's just a girl and she's on fire. Hotter than a fantasy, lonely like a highway. She's living in a world and it's on fire. Filled with catastrophe, but she knows she can fly away. Oh, she got both feet on the ground and she's burning. doing here? Moving in. 